With the year about to come to an end, now is a great time to really sit down and plan your year ahead, to really design your dream life on your terms for 2022. So if up until this point, your life wasn't the way you want it to be, maybe there was something missing, maybe you realized that you were holding back, you didn't achieve the things that you wanted to achieve, or you had to settle for things that you really didn't want just because you thought you couldn't have more, then this video is for you because I want to share with you five simple steps that you can start taking to start creating your life and designing your life on your terms, really getting clear on what is it you want without settling, without limiting yourself none of that but really creating your dream life on your terms so if you would like to know how you can design your dream life on your terms stay tuned hello the beautiful soul welcome back to another video and if you're new to my channel welcome I'm so excited and grateful that you came across my channel now in case you don't know me my name is Kay Sanders I'm a divine messenger and celestial healer here to assist awakening souls on their spiritual awakening journey so they can really awaken to their power within step into their power and create more success abundance and freedom in their life all while living their life on purpose and making the impact that they're here to make now, if that's you, if you're on your spiritual awakening journey, and if you would like to learn how to tap into your inner power, then please be sure to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I release new content. So now with the year ending, you may have already thought about, well, what could you be doing? What would you like next year? And you maybe also have already looked back over these last, you know, 11 and a half months and realized that maybe there were certain things that you didn't quite like, or you wish you would, that it would have been different. And maybe you're already kind of asking yourself, well, what do I want moving forward? So now is really the perfect time to really tap into the energy of completion because, I mean, we're really at the last, you know, at the end of 2021. So we only have like what, like a week left, a little over a week left before we're moving into a completely new energy period of 2022. So it's a completely different energy theme, energy period that we are moving into, which really gives you somewhat of a reset point. Now, I mean, I'm pretty sure you're maybe already thinking about some of those New Year's re resolution you want to set that's because we're really it's like a new beginning every January 1st it's like a new beginning we're getting like the we're able to really hit the reset button and then kind of start over and again if we want or you know just really course correct so now is really the perfect time to really tap into this energy of completion like what are you no longer available for what do you no longer want so you can really design your life the way you want it and it's truly possible and even if up until this point you're saying well my life wasn't the way I wanted you know 2021 didn't plan out the way I wanted and even the year years before it didn't now with the five steps I'm about to share with you you can really design your life on your terms in the way that you want because the changes that you're seeking they're created from the inside out. And with these five steps I'm about to share with you, you will be able to do just that. And actually even more, you will be able to create the life that you want and start calling it forth because it's all about that energetic connection. So let's go into those five steps. The first step is you want to uncover what are your disconnects and your longings. Like what and you can do this for every area of your life. Like get clear, what do you no longer want? If you're looking back over this last, you know, this year basically, and looking at every area of your life, where do you feel a longing, where, you're, where there's a disconnect, where something is missing? Like really get clear on all those areas. It can be anything from money to success to your career, your health, well-being, uh, your spiritual connection, love, relationship, you name it. You can look at every single area of your life. And uncover those, those longings that you have that where you wish it would be different where you wish you would have something more, something more expansive, maybe even something different. Like really get clear on in every area of your life because you get to truly be the author of your own life. So if you get to design your life the way you want it, it would be a great idea to start out with what don't you like anymore? Where are those disconnects? And then the second step is get clear on what would you love instead. Like going back to saying, I mean, you can be the author of your own life. So if you could have anything that you want, anything, that if you would make it clear that this is what you want, you just knew that this is what you can create. Like you're writing your new story into reality. 
So get clear. What are your longings? Like, what is it that you truly want? What would you love? Not just want, like actually go a little deeper. What would you love to have? What would you love to experience instead? If you're in a relationship and you're not really feeling fulfilled in your relationship, well, what would you want instead? Maybe you want to have a relationship that is on fire, that fulfills you so deeply that each day you wake up and you're just in such amazement of how amazing uh, your partnership is with your, with, your, with your partner. If it's about success, what, do you, what would you love? Do you want to have an absolutely amazing, uh, successful and thriving business where you impact millions and make millions in return? What would you love? If you could truly have anything, because quite frankly, you can have anything and everything that you want. So get clear on what would you love. That is the second step. Discover and connect with your soul. You can really connect with your soul first and really uncover what would your soul love. Because oftentimes when we're looking at the things that we want, that's ego territory, right? It's, it's based on limitation, on what your ego, your personality thinks is possible for you or that you deserve or anything like that. But we don't want to focus on the limited view of what you want, but we want to uncover what would you love. And that's you can do that by really tuning into your heart, really connect deeply, call forth your soul if you would like, and then just tune in what would you love not focusing on anything what you think you can achieve no none of that matters really get clear on what would you love write that down write all of these things down that of the things that you would love then the third step is you want to uncover your limiters that's your your monkey mind telling you oh no you can't do this ah this is just too big you just should settle for less <laughs> you're not good enough to do that <laughs> you don't even think, you need to think about that those type of things and also your fears well if if i have that you know what if my family don't like me anymore because all of a sudden i'm successful or what if people judge me because i'm totally going into the woo-woo side and people don't like that uncover your limiters whether it's doubts fears limiting beliefs you know limiting beliefs as far as what you think is possible and you're putting like a damper on that any of those like really let your monkey mind go wild for a little bit and really uncover what are those limiters because when you become aware of those limiters well that gives you a power of choice because then when you're realizing that your monkey mind is telling you that you're not good enough you can look at it like <laughs> really of course I'm good enough. I can do this. I can at least get started with that. So by you uncovering your limiters, you're really diffusing those limitations because in order for you to really design your life, and I mean, if you're looking back over this, this year just alone, I'm pretty sure you're realizing that there were many times when you talked yourself out of certain things, out of fear, doubt, disbelief that it's possible or whatever else or maybe you held back because you didn't want to move ahead and leave your family behind or you didn't want to grow more than what was comfortable to the rest of your family or friends whatever it was so if you allow yourself to look back over your life you're probably realizing that your monkey mind has played some tricks on you these past you know 11 and a half months where you could have done something but your monkey mind your ego your personality whatever you want to call it was getting in the way so by you getting clear on those areas that you would like to make a change in where you don't really where you have some disconnects where you have longings that are not yet fulfilled and you're getting clear on what would you love based on your soul's desire and then really getting clear on those limiters Letting your monkey mind throw everything at you because the more awareness you have, well, the more power you have because you can do something about it. I always talk about awareness is the power of choice. Awareness gives you power because then you can truly do something about it. When you're uncovering all of those limitations, like I said, when you have a choice, you can do something about it. Whether you're then looking at it and, and allowing yourself to see the higher truth and saying, that's just a lie. I am good enough. I can do this. Well, maybe I'm, I'm not sure how to go about it yet, but well, the how will unfold. You can shift your mindset around. You can break through those limiters. You can do some healing if you need to, to let go of those things. Or when you're realizing that maybe there is something that's really, you know, it's something deep at the core that's really getting in the way. Well, then you can maybe get some help to break through those limitations. But the more you can uncover about those limiters, well, that only gives you power. 
that only gives you choices to do something about it. Because your monkey mind will always, always try to talk you out of things. Because what your monkey mind, your ego, your personality wants to keep you safe. And anything of those, really those deep longings that you have, the wants, the, the desires, the, the things that you would love to have, it's going to be scary for the ego because it doesn't know what's on the other side. It's, it's the unknown territory and it wants to keep you from, you know, potential danger that's on that other side. Of course, they're probably not going to be danger, but your ego doesn't know that. So by you really uncovering those limiters, that gives you truly power. Then the fourth step here is now that you know what you want, like really those, those deep desires, those things that you would love to have. I then want to invite you. The fourth step is write a new story, like get clear about your dream life, write it down as if it really has happened. You can imagine jumping into the future three to five years from now. And then from that point, writing a letter to your per present self and writing everything down as if all these things that you have written down, the things that you would love to have, that they really truly came about, that you really are experiencing your future self experiences that. And that future self is writing a letter to you telling you all these amazing things that are happening. And you can start out with saying something like, I'm so happy and grateful now that my life is turning out to be a masterpiece. I am so loved by my family. I have so much success. My business is growing like crazy. I cannot believe how much my business has grown. I'm now making multiple five figures each and every month easily. And clients just come to me easily. They are ready to get started. I have met this amazing partner who just warms my heart when I just look at him or her. Whatever it is, like really write a story. If you were to write a chapter or a book, write in detail. Write these, really for each area of your life, write down a new story. Put feeling into it. Don't just focus on the materialistic things, but focus on how you will feel. How do you feel when you have these things? Who is all part of this? If you want to, let's say you want to have a new house or then your future self has a beautiful new house, get into detail about the house. Where is it? How many rooms? Is it two story, one story? What does it have included? The friends that you have, what kind of friends? The, the loving partner, are they also maybe on the spiritual path? Get clear on that and really write as detailed as you can and put the emotions into it. The more emotions and feelings you can put into it, the better. Because the point with writing a new story is you want to energetically align yourself. You really want to get fired up. Like when you're writing and you're just like, yes, 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 I can see it. I can feel it. I, I know it's going to happen. That's the feeling you want to look for. If there's any feeling that, nah, I don't know, I don't know, that doesn't feel quite right then rewrite that part or leave it out or tune in and see why is it not feeling 100% amazing. You want to really look for the feeling that is just deeply within like, yes, that when you're looking at it, when you're reading it, when you're going over it, you're just constantly in a, in a, internally saying, yes, 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 yes. That's what you're looking for. But rewrite or write a new story. These are your new intentions because as you're writing it, you're intending that this is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. Now you can write it as intentions, but I really highly recommend write it as a story. Starting out with, I'm so happy and grateful now that, and then free write whatever comes to mind, whatever you want. And you can go back to that. The second point here is where you have written down all the things you would love to have for each area of your life then use that and include that into your new story. For each area of your life, write a new story, including those, those love to have. I would love to have that. But like I said, write it as it already has happened from your future self, writing that letter to your current self, your present self right now, and writing it in a way that it already happened. And here, please dream big. You can dream as big as it feels right. But here, I just want to point something out. Now, let's say you want something that is bigger than you are currently energetically aligned to that. So let's say money, for example. Let's say you want to make half a million dollar in a year. But right now, you're just barely making twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year. Now, this may be too much of an energetic stretch because you are not in alignment with it yet. Yes, you want it. And yes, it is possible for you. But 
as you're writing your story and let's say you're set you're writing down I want to make a half a million dollar or maybe a million dollar in a year or within a year that may be too big of a stretch that you actually then feel internal like <laughs> yeah right right you want to listen for that you want to pay attention to that because if you're writing anything that is too big of a stretch for you right now you're not going to get that internally yes 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 because you want to really feel that it is truly possible that you're really in alignment with that now let's say you're starting out you want to make let's say ten thousand dollars a month right so right now maybe you're at two thousand you want to get to ten thousand or maybe twenty or thirty thousand if that number feels right you want to pay attention to that inner feeling like like it fits like that 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 puzzle piece that just fits snug it feels fits perfectly that's what you want to listen for that's what you want to want to pay your attention to if it doesn't fit right adjust the amount adjust your desires to make it really fit because if you're stretching yourself too much you are moving into misalignment because then when you're reading it you're then having that longing again that disconnect feeling like yeah but I don't have that yet and then you're moving more further apart from that you're actually moving into resistance you're moving into misalignment because the desire is just too far out you're not energetically aligned to it yet so pay attention it needs to feel right I mean of course it's still gonna be a stretch but it needs to be that internal yes that w that's what I feel like in alignment with so just pay attention to that because then the fifth step is you want to align yourself to that new story daily and you do that by reading that story daily print it out if you can and then read it daily in the morning and in the evening like right before you go to bed read it like really and as you're reading it feel into it you want to constantly get that yes feeling when you're reading it like you're really tuning in and you can even close your eyes and imagine you are turning into your future self that self that has written that letter to you and you just read it and like internally you want to have the feeling that yes 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 and here too, pay attention that the more you read it you may notice that certain things that you have written before suddenly don't feel right anymore and then you want to adjust it I redo mine constantly I tweak it all the time to make sure that if there's something that I have written down before doesn't feel right anymore I'll take it out or I rewrite it there was one time for example I have written down that I want to hire me a cleaning lady and I also want to hire me someone that cooks my food right because I want to eat healthy and you know I just don't have the time to you know prepare all the meals and plan it out or whatnot so I've written that down too well the cleaning lady definitely feels in alignment but then the cooking part I'm like no I really don't need that right so I took that out because you really want to make sure that you are in an in energetic alignment so really reading it daily and aligning yourself energetically to that because law of attraction says you attract what you're an energetic match to what you're in an in a energetic alignment with so by you reading that story on a daily basis and you feel into it you see it you really you got that feeling that yes and you know it's going to happen then the only thing you then you have to just do is pay, be patient and allow it to unfold because you create it from the inside out but energetically align yourself to that new story on a daily basis and when you have a bad day read it and then really tune into it because you want to really fully align yourself to your dream life that's how you truly design your dream life and pay, pay attention whenever doubt comes up whenever limiting beliefs come up or this whole voice and you're like it ain't gonna happen then make sure that you pay attention when did that voice come up because maybe you've written something in that story that like I said was too big of a stretch and then when you have doubt coming up tune in okay when did that come up what was I reading what was I tuning into when that voice came up and then you can tune in okay is maybe what you have written down is too big of a stretch is this truly what you want or is there a different version of what you want and then rewrite it you really want to have your story to be that that yes that constant yes feeling when you're reading it but energetically but energetically align yourself daily by reading it by really feeling into it that's how you can call it forth because the more you read this new story then what you will notice is that internally you will you will start to shift you will start looking at things differently your vibration raises because anytime you're reading and you're feeling like yes 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 it's like you're, you're pumping yourself up you're raising your vibration 
And then you will notice that you start attracting people that will help you in certain ways. So let's say a business, you will attract more clients. You will also attract more money. You will attract more opportunities because you're an energetically matched to those things, those opportunities that are matched to your story. So that's why it's so important that daily, the fifth step is daily align yourself to that new story. And then don't let fear or doubt get in the way. So here you have those five simple steps. That's how you truly create your dream life. And I'm, I'm going to throw in an extra step here. Then once you have that dream life, then all you have to do is take those soul inspired and aligned steps that are in alignment with your desire. So acting from that place, taking, taking actions from that place, really being in alignment with that future self and then taking the steps that are in alignment with that. So here you have that bonus step of how to then actually create it because it's not, you just, you don't just go out there and do a bunch of things, but it's like when you energetically align yourself to that, you wouldn't also get those inspired ideas. Maybe you're sitting here and all of a sudden you're getting the idea to contact this one person or to create this one offer or to maybe go to this coffee shop or whatnot. And all of a sudden there, you may meet this amazing person. Things like that will then happen because you're energetically aligning yourself to that new story. That's how you get to design your life and create your life on your terms based on your desires. So I really hope you enjoyed this, but now I have a question for you. What do you want to call forth in 2022? What are your intentions? What is your new story going to be? Do me a favor, leave a comment below. Let me know what is it that you want to call forth. And also, if you want to go a little deeper with this, and if you really want to be more of a little badass yourself and really go after the things that you truly want without holding back, I want to invite you to check out my program, Awaken to Your Inner Badass Self. It's a five-day program that really walks you through how to really do these steps, how to really break through those limiters that are really holding you back, and how to really uncover also what is it that your soul's truly desired. It's only a five-day program to really help you get kicked get started with that to really design your dream life in more detail and I guide you through each and every every one of those steps but I really hope you enjoyed this video and also be sure to check out this next video I think you're gonna love it and also Merry Christmas I hope you have a wonderful time with your family many many blessings to you and your family and I will I look forward to seeing you again in the next video until then make an amazing abundant successful day namaste